Hello, hello. Hopefully my microphone is fine because it's cheap and if you cannot hear me, I apologize, but I will put subtitles to make it easier. So for today and this tutorial, I will explain how to create character profiles that look really neat and cool. For example, like this. As you can see, the information is displayed like just really nice to the eyes in general. It's better than just seeing bullet points, you know. So to do that, you obviously have to have a Toy House account first. Now to get a Toy House account, you need a code, unfortunately. But you can probably find one really easily somewhere online. People are giving it out wherever. So once you get your account set up, you need to go to settings. Now for this tutorial purposes, I enabled this setting right here called profile text. You can find it in settings, display settings under account, and in this box section right here. I do not know no Oh, sorry, I don't know what this means, but all you have to know is this is how you're going to be able to edit the character profile and put a code into it. So I have it enabled initially, but uh, this is honestly up to you. You can enable it if you want, but I've enabled, uh, sorry, disabled it Pers just as a personal thing because I preferred it that way. But if you have it enabled, you can disable it if you want. But I'm just showing just as an example. So you can just update it whether you've disabled it or not. And I'll let you know the difference soon. So now if you have characters already, awesome. If you don't then, well, first of all, submit your characters. It's pretty easy. Submit, character, boom, done. Now as you can see my profile for my Sona is incredibly simple. There's nothing at all. And so, what you want to do is go to Manage Character under Control Panel, click Edit Profile, and it's a bit confusing, I know this website is very confusing when you first make an account for it, but underneath the Basics section, there's this whole box here. Now, if you enabled thingy in your settings, you will be able to see this button and you should disable it if you want to add a code to your profile. Where to find codes? Well, you can just Google Toy House codes, but I have a bunch of accounts here, profiles uh, that specialize in code. So let's just like pick a random one to put for my so <gasps> Okay, here, finally. Um, let's just choose a random one, like... Undertale. <laughs> Look, that's really cool, isn't it? So, just find out where the code is put. So, here you go. Get code. And here it is. You might be overwhelmed at first, like, oh god, how am I gonna edit this? But it's easy, don't worry. What you're gonna do is copy everything and just paste it here. It's gonna look weird so just update it first and then once you update it it will look this like this. Now there's colored text to separate from the gray text which is very important because it makes it easier to edit. Now you can check your profile and see oh okay this is what it looks like oh my gosh. Now go back to your profile, edit profile, and this is basically it, you just edit as you wish. Like here's a character name, oh yeah, to even edit the code in the first place, you just have to 
read the green text. They usually guide you along as you scroll down like okay, this. Replace the hashtag with an URL for the image. Ah, oh, here it is. Oh my god, it's like so small. I did not even see that. Yeah, so basically the green text will guide you. So replace this hashtag with like a picture. Okay, we're back and I got a picture of me. So I'm going to copy that and just paste it there. And yes, so and also all of the gray text it might be hard to see, but the editable text is all in gray. So it says here, write a quote. I'm just gonna write, mm, yeah. And the character name is obviously me, so. For me. And this is just a bunch of information right here. So, look, weapon, pocket knife, armor, black hoodie. Change that as you wish. And here's some more information you can put right here. Some attributes. And they say here, obviously, read the rules of the person who made the code. Never remove the credit. No one likes that. And just update the character. And now. Yay, there I am. <laughs> so cool. And that's basically it. I can show you more examples. So like the most recent one I've edited is Toby. I chose a more simpler code. I really like the simple ones most. Like I don't like the really big ones that scroll all the way down. I just like these compact ones. They're more easier to edit. Here's his personality, his likes, dislikes. This is supposed to be his background, which I have not done yet. Trivia, relationships. I really like editing these. Oh, uh, I should also mention for these relationship sections, sometimes they only have like one example put in the code. And let me scroll all the way down. Here, so when you see this in the code, add and delete above this line. All you gotta do is just to add more characters in the relationship section. Just like copy this whole thing from the start. So like your relationship 4 up until the last like code thingy here, the div, and just paste it. Which is what which is what I did. Yeah. And you can do this for like any other like thing. For example, um, the design notes here. See, this green text is really important. So like, make sure you read and see. So it helps guide you along the code. So if you want to add like more points to the design notes, you can, it says here, add and delete above this line. So just copy paste the section. Boom, done. You know, get more. And usually the codes will scroll. You know, so it doesn't like break the box like this, you see. And that's pretty much it.